Hey guys. So, we did not make it to Dino Day. Unfortunately, the car just didn't make it. The uh, Right after I cut the last time, I decided to try connecting with the black box ECU, and my laptop had decided to force update to Windows 10, uh, and then wouldn't connect to the ECU at all. It kept giving me a low voltage error. So I put the car back, <clears throat> back together and uh, drove it off on a test drive. And so, here I'll show you car put back together so I put the car back together like this and drove it the uh, harness for the IAT sensor is over here unplugged you know the wires are trimmed here they can't do anything um, you know the math back in I fixed the put a new clamp on the uh, blow off valve because it kept blowing off so I decided to go drive it and it did feel better than it did before the uh, the reason I had parked it is because I was having an issue not running enough power, and I think it was actually the blow off valve leaking. Um, what I'm going to show you here, though, is the purpose of the video or the uh, cause of this video. This is the 100 amp alternator uh, fuse, and you can see it's completely blown here. When I started the, the speed density wiring, I began by disconnecting the fuse box so I could get all the way back to the back of this harness. Uh, by moving the box out of the way and when I did that I didn't start by removing the battery and as a result I had a short here and when I had checked the main fuse there was no damage what I didn't check was the 100 amp alternator fuse directly next to it so when I went down for my test drive I made it about two miles down the road before my headlights went out and about a quarter mile back before my car completely died uh, so I spent most of the night on the side of the road the uh the moral of the story here is always disconnect the battery before doing any any electrical work. Uh, the thing is, I knew better, but I was in a hurry and let myself skip a step. Um, purpose of this video, though, is to show you because when I broke down, my top was down, um, and I had to go back. I had to leave my car until I could uh, go back and change the fuse and jumpstart the car. Now, when your battery, or when your top is down and your battery's dead, or when your top motor stops working, uh, the way that you manually raise your roof is this little switch inside the trunk. This little panel here pops off. Uh, it looks like this. All right, so it's got uh, four tabs. You push each of the tabs in. All right, so when these panels go in, and they just slide with your thumb. So they go like that and they slide into these little holes here in grooves and they basically put a tongue there so it can't push itself out. All right, so you just pop those off and then you flip this switch here and the switch actually says manual and now the top is in manual mode. And you can come back here and that's what that handle's for. You just grab onto this handle and you pull up. It takes a lot of leverage. Uh, it does not come up easy. You are fighting the resistance of the motor. And I found that it was very, very hard to keep the top straight as it went up, so it would occasionally start to bind. Uh, you want to be careful when you do that because you could actually break the top or break the motor. Um, so in those cases, I would push it back a little bit and then try to pull it forward, or I would get out. And on the side that seemed like it was jamming, I would uh, kind of push on that side a little bit until it would move forward a little bit. Uh, you just want to be real careful doing that. I don't recommend doing it all the time. I'm not going to do it now because uh, I think you understand the basics of pull. Uh, but for the most part, you just pull it back and up and over. What gets tricky is actually when it gets to here, um, because that last inch, you have nowhere to stand, nowhere to get leverage, and you're just kind of sitting in the car, pulling as much as you can until you can get one side to buckle and then buckle the other. So it's not gonna close as easily uh, or as fully as it will automatic. Um, but I think that really goes without saying. Anyways, guys, if you ever break down, that's how to how to get your top back up. You are on your own for the automatic windows, uh, but at least you're not going to be as visibly vulnerable. All right.